Good morning. I wanted to show you um, this Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds Catalog. And this is the 2021 RareSeeds.com um, catalog. And I had gotten a catalog a couple years ago from my friend and I didn't use it and I didn't order it. And the more I looked into it, the more I fell in love with uh, Baker Creek Seeds. And this year, and I'm not sure if it said that on the other order, the other catalogs, but it says free shipping on all North American orders, which I love because last time I ordered a lot of seeds, including bulk seeds for uh, ground cover, green um, mulch, <clears throat> and that was I had to purchase $200 worth of merchandise seeds um, from Johnny's in order to get. Um, free shipping and in this case it's free shipping no matter what in the US so this catalog has quite a few things and I'm sorry that it's a little crunchy it was a really nice catalog and I um, accidentally spilled a little bit of tea on there so I have all sorts of things flowers um, uh, decorative flowers, herbs, spices, salad greens, tomatoes, everything that you can imagine. Sunflowers, I love these. Gold coin, they're so pretty. Um, and oh, this is so vibrant. Um, Mexican sunflower, red torch, beautiful. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I just go and peruse the whole catalog and I choose what I like, circle them, and then I decide a second go um, kind of which ones I really really want. And unfortunately when it, when it came time to order it there were a couple items that weren't available but um, luckily what you can do is you can put that you're interested in finding out when they get it in stock and they'll let you know so you have that option <clears throat> and so I'm I'm waiting to see if some other things go um, in stock and I mean just the abundance of available uh, plants that you can uh, you can buy I mean exotic and rare and heirloom type seeds um, look at that beautiful purple carrot <clears throat> and these unique yellow ones and here's some more carrots I mean and then so these were what I was interested in <clears throat> but someone went and bought them all or something I don't know and um, <clears throat> I'm waiting for uh, them to let me know if they get it back in stock but really really wonderful and decent prices and I just love that they're organic, heirloom seeds, um, not GMO, um, just really, really beautiful. And so um, I did make an order and I tried to keep it to the bare minimum of what I really, really, really wanted and loved. And it came in this package that's got the you know the bubbles in there um, and it's cushioned and it's really nice um, and uh, I might order even more I just love it but right now I'm just limiting myself to this this little order here and well it's quite a bit uh, but I plan on growing a lot more this year especially since I just newly got mulch into the ground and uh, I'm going to just start to put lots of um, fertilizer and, and uh, compost and things to make that compost area really nice lush soil by the time spring rolls around. We just had major rains and um, I collected at least 400 or more gallons of water <clears throat> just yesterday and it's the first rain of this year here um, of this season 
And here I ordered some purple TP beans. I was looking for the Chinese long yard long beans, but I, those weren't available. And then I ordered um, these black nebula carrots because my daughter loves carrots. And I love pulling them out of the ground too. It's so satisfying. And with that order, they gave me a free package of seeds, but it was funny because I ordered the same kind of seeds um, for this kind of um, lettuce. I love that it's like buttery and soft and um, it doesn't have that bitterness on it as much. And you can use it in wraps or in your sandwiches or your burgers. And I ordered some leek because I love that mellow taste of oniony leek. It's mellow. Chives. We'll see how these turn out. I've, I've not been able to grow chives very successfully and I'm not sure if it's because I keep thinking that it's grass or weeds and I pull it out or I'm not really sure. Um, this is uh, one of the bitter melons. Um, the only one available out of the four. Um, so I got that and uh, it's really delicious. It's good for people who have um, diabetes or other other conditions. And here I have tatsoi and look at how lush this grows. It seems like if you keep pulling and cutting from the outside that it'll keep growing from the center. It says that it's a very abundant leafy vegetable so I ordered that. <clears throat> And some greens that look like they're easy to wash and clean. And um, I hope they're more tender than kale, which I love kale, but I, I wanted something a little softer, less fibrous. Bok choy, milk bok choy. And that looks really delicious. My husband actually loves it. It's, uh, it's uh, succulent and full of um, water and delicious. It absorbs the flavors that you put it in, so you could put it into soups or, you know, salads or eat them, eat them raw. They're really good. And then I fell in love with Yod Pho. It looks delicious. Chinese broccoli. I think that's what they call it in one type of Chinese, but it's also called Gai Lan. I think it's the same thing. Um, Chinese broccoli, delicious. So I got myself three of them. I might give one, um, or I will give one to my mom. And I have rapini, which is the white version, or I don't know where it's from. Um, rapini, and I love it. it sounds I Italian. And it's also like a smaller version of broccoli. <clears throat> I call them baby broccoli. And then regular broccoli and purple cauliflower. I like to get unique things so I can figure out the difference between that and uh, something else when it grows. <clears throat> Lettuce leaf basil. I have no idea if it tastes like basil or if it, or if it tastes like really mellow and almost lettuce-like, but I love how big it is and I might be using it in wraps. Um, that just seems really awesome. And basil from Ghana, Ghana Echo Mesa. And I'm gonna collect it because um, basil are my favorite herbs and I love to try to collect the different varieties. Right now I have holy basil, Thai basil, and Genovese basil. <coughs> Here is Chinese sweet basil. So I'm gonna see how that compares to the other basils. African Nunum basil. <coughs> and Persian basil. And that was all the basils I got, <laughs> practically every single one and hyssop, anise hyssop, and uh, supposedly it has um, um, great medicinal properties um, and it actually says so in the catalog. The catalog will tell you uh, kind of a little summary of what it's good for. And wild bergamot to bring about, um, to make into, to put into teas 
and also to bring about um, butterflies and bees. Bees love those. And another one of those is bee balm, lemon, and um, it, it's you could see that it's going to bring about lots of bees and other um, beneficial insects. And it can be placed in tea as well. And uh, um, one melon. I was going to order a bunch, but I was tr just trying to keep my uh, seed order to a decent amount because I don't know if I have all that time to grow too, too many things. And Feverfew, which has good um, medicinal qualities and it'll bring about in insectaries. And um, this lowers your fever if you have if you have one and this is yarrow and it also helps for um, wounds and things like that and uh, it has beautiful flowers and it can bring back bring about insectaries beneficial ones uh, by the way I found out that yarrow kind of spreads so you you can grow it in a pot or grow it somewhere and just pull them out as you need it which I, I like abundance it's better than not having enough and um, the same can be true of uh, so one of these spices I heard also kind of grows a little bit um, and here's nasturtium it's edible but it has these I got this cherry rose jewel it's got these beautiful blooms and it will be a little different from the normal um, nasturtiums and it has a peppery taste uh, black peppery taste so you can eat the flowers the leaves wonderful sunflower du double sinking sunking and it has like those um, double blooms really really gorgeous um, and Double Dutch Rose. It's got double petals. It's really pretty. And it's considered a Cosmo. But really looks like a rose. And Marigold. Orange Hawaii. And these are supposed to be humongous. Humongous blooms. Like the size of your hand or something like that. So I wanted to give it a try. And by the way, Marigolds repel uh pests like um, insects that that you may not want um, in your herb garden or in your you know uh, so it's great to grow amongst your cauliflower and brassicas and such hopefully they detract white flies and um, all the ones that eat brassicas and that's it that's my order from Baker Creek for this year and I re I'm really excited and try to order it early because last year at the start of the pandemic people were having a hard time getting a hold of all kinds of seeds and things or it took a lot longer so um, do try to get these in and this is pretty affordable and I'm glad I don't have to pay for shipping so have a great day please like and subscribe and see you in the next video thank you for watching